When a fighter jet is soaring at breakneck speeds, every second counts. In a split moment, a pilot's life can hang in the balance. Ejecting from an aircraft might be their only chance at survival. But it's not something pilots do lightly. It's the final lifeline when everything else has failed. Enter the ejection seat, a mind-blowing engineering marvel that can launch a pilot from the jet in mere seconds, even at insane altitudes and speeds. But how do these life-saving seats work? What goes into making them? In this video, we'll dive into the jaw-dropping process behind the creation of ejection seats, exploring the insane technology, materials, and innovations that make them work flawlessly every time. The need for ejection seats came during World War II, when aircraft started flying faster and higher. In an emergency, it became harder for pilots to escape by simply jumping out of the plane. Factors like injuries, g-forces, or being trapped meant successfully escaping from a crashed airplane is impossible. As a result, practical designs for ejection seats started emerging. In the late 1930s, the German company Heinkel developed one of the first operational ejection seats. By 1940, Heinkel installed a compressed air-powered seat in the HE-280 jet fighter. This first real use of an ejection seat occurred in 1942 when a German test pilot successfully ejected from a prototype aircraft. In 1944, the British Ministry of Defense tasked Martin Baker, a British engineering company, with developing an ejection system for high-speed fighter aircraft. The project became personal for founder James Martin after the tragic death of his business partner, Captain Valentine Baker, in a flying accident in 1942. Martin discovered that the most reliable method of pilot ejection was an explosive charge, which propelled the seat and pilot out of the aircraft. After years of testing, the first operational Martin Baker ejection seat entered service in the late 1940s. The first recorded life saved was the test pilot John Lancaster in 1949. As aircraft became faster and more powerful, ejection seat technology had to keep up. Rocket-powered ejection seats were introduced in the 1960s to provide greater altitude and stability. In 1965, the introduction of zero-zero ejection seats revolutionized pilot safety by allowing them to eject safely even when the aircraft was on the ground, zero altitude, or at lower speeds or parked, zero speed. This breakthrough meant pilots could escape in critical situations such as during takeoff or taxiing, where traditional ejection seats would have been ineffective. Today's ejection seats are even highly sophisticated. Companies like Martin Baker and UTC Aerospace Systems manufacture seats that adjust for pilot weight and size to ensure safe ejection for all aircrew. They use advanced rocket systems for controlled, stable ejections at supersonic speeds. Since its first use in 1949, over 7,000 lives have been saved by ejection seats, with Martin Baker alone supplying over 70,000 seats worldwide. Before understanding how they're made, it's important to know how they work. When a pilot pulls the ejection handle, usually located between the legs or above their head, this triggers a small explosive charge or rocket motor that blows off the cockpit canopy or shatters it with a miniature explosion to clear the way. Once the canopy is out of the way, another explosive charge or rocket system fires, forcing the seat and the pilot out of the aircraft at a high speed. Some modern ejection seats can operate at speeds of over 800 miles an hour, and at an altitude of over 50,000 feet. At breakneck speeds, a pilot can be hurled into a deadly spin. To stop this chaos, modern ejection seats deploy a drogue parachute, a small stabilizing chute that slows the fall and keeps the seat steady, ensuring the pilot has a fighting chance. Once the pilot reaches a safe altitude and speed, automatic systems release them from the seat and deploy a full-sized parachute. This helps to ensure a controlled descent to the ground. While this may seem like something straight out of an action movie, ejecting from a jet is a complex process that requires many sophisticated components working together at the same time. Each part must function perfectly to ensure the pilot's safety. The ejection seat consists of several components, a seat catapult, restraint, rocket, parachute, and survival kits. All these components are extremely strong. Hence, their materials are specifically chosen for their strength, durability, and fire resistance. One of the key materials used in ejection seats is titanium. This metal is lightweight, strong, and can handle high temperatures. In some advanced ejection seat designs, titanium alloys are used in critical parts because they offer an excellent balance of strength and weight. 
Since ejection seats face extreme heat and stress, titanium is a great choice for parts that need to be both durable and heat resistant. Steel is another important material used in ejection seats. It's commonly used for the main framework and critical components of the seat because of its excellent strength and rigidity. Steel can withstand intense forces experienced during ejection. Aluminum, which is a lightweight material, is used in non-structural components and parts of the ejection seat, such as panels, brackets, and smaller components. Ejection seats often include composite materials, such as carbon-reinforced polymers. These materials offer a high strength to weight ratio and are designed to withstand dynamic loads while maintaining structural integrity. Composites are commonly used for non-metallic parts like brackets and headrests. The cushions, straps, and coverings of ejection seats are made from fire-resistant fabrics. These fabrics can handle high heat and help prevent fires during an ejection event. Each component of the ejection seat is crafted with precision, ensuring that every part works seamlessly in an emergency. The metal components made from ultra-strong materials like steel and titanium are created using advanced techniques like CNC machining and welding. These parts, seat frames, brackets, and mounts are built to withstand extreme forces, which you might not see on the camera, but you can imagine the intense pressure they need to handle during ejection. Next, the seat catapult launches the ejection seat at mind-boggling speeds. It's composed of a series of telescoping tubes, each one fitting neatly inside the next, creating a powerful mechanism that propels the seat forward. This system is designed to release an immense amount of force in an instant, ensuring the pilot is ejected from the jet with precision and speed, no matter the situation. The rocket motor provides the thrust needed to eject the seat, generating an incredible amount of force to launch the pilot out of the jet at high speeds. Packed with solid propellant that burns at a rapid rate, the motor produces the powerful thrust necessary to propel the seat far from the aircraft, ensuring the pilot's safe exit even in the most extreme conditions. The restraints made from tough Kevlar are designed to keep the pilot secure during ejection. These straps are machine sewn with reinforced patterns, ensuring they can hold the pilot in place no matter the turbulence. The quick release buckles are crafted from lightweight yet durable materials like aluminum or titanium. Finally, the survival kit is packed with the essentials, a first aid kit, water, food, and a life raft. All of this fits under the seat, ready for the pilot's survival in case of emergency no matter where they touch down. Once the individual parts are ready, they are assembled into the final ejection seat. The seat frame is fitted with the rocket motor and the parachute system by trained technicians. Wires and sensors are installed to connect the seat to the aircraft systems. These sensors ensure the seat ejects safely and automatically deploys the parachute. The survival kit is attached to the bottom of the seat. Ejection seats are tested thoroughly to ensure they work perfectly every time. Testing is carried out in several ways. The first is live ejections where the seat is tested by firing it out of stationary platforms or moving aircraft. Dummies are used to simulate a real pilot. The second is high speed tests. In this test, the seat is tested at supersonic speeds to make sure it can handle the forces involved. The third is environmental tests, where the seat is tested in extreme temperatures from freezing cold to scorching heat to ensure it would work in any condition. Every ejection seat must pass these tests before it is approved for use. Before an ejection seat is sent to the military, it also undergoes strict quality checks. Engineers inspect every part of the seat to ensure it meets safety standards. If any part fails to meet these standards, it is replaced or fixed. Ejection seats require regular maintenance to ensure they remain in working order. This includes checks on the pyrotechnic components, seat structure, and restraint systems. In addition, as technology advances, ejection seats may be upgraded with new materials or systems to improve performance and safety. Do you agree that this ejection seat is incredible? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.